Hi everybody, we've got a lot of interest in the DIY and a lot of people have been asking how to build our own, so I'll show you how to put one together. First we have a spool of aluminum wire coming through the straighteners, then it goes to the feed. The feed is pulling it out of the straightener and down the tube to the bender, and I'll show you how that all goes together. The spool of aluminum wire, we made our own. You could just as soon grab one from McMaster or something like that and save yourself the trouble. It goes down to a bearing here. All that really is is making sure that the wire is not going in any sort of crazy direction. So that's something we had around that you could just as soon have a plate with a hole in it. These are wheels that are active straighteners. And this is, uh, these are all 3D printed with a groove in it. Again, you could probably use a toy wheel. That'll be fine. These straighteners are all in line. If you really wanted to do it the right way, each straightener would be at, at least 45 degrees to each other. That'll give you some uh, uh, bending and clearing in all different directions. You can Google uh, wire straightener and take a look at that. This was good enough for our purposes. Then it goes through this little piece here. All that's doing is keeping it nice and straight for the feed. Then it goes down the feed and I'll show you that more uh, a little bit later. Then when you look at the electronics, we have a power supply here putting out 24 volts for our motors. If you switch out for different motors, just match the same voltage. We have an Arduino that's driving the stepper motor drivers and a uh, relay over here in the back. You probably can't see it, and that's driving our solenoid over there. So that's pretty much it. Let me show you in detail how to get to the other assemblies. Once the wire comes out of the feed, we have a feed assembly here. Here, this is all made out of custom parts, but you could probably put something together with more uh, off-the-shelf components. Like we made this brass rod with the knurled face on it on our lathe, but you can probably just buy a brass knob. One thing you'll notice is that the two diameters are different and the feed rate is going to be different. You're going to want to adjust the program. Then this is just an aluminum channel and that is going to push against the wire over there and you're just going to screw that in. That just gets it all nice and tight so it shoots down the wire. This is the Z-Band gear. That gear is just attached to the shaft here with a, um, with a bolt. That's all driven from down here. So this is the Z-Band motor. This part is in the uh, bill of materials and the files you find is a 3D printed uh, motor mount. Uh, this other motor is just mounted straight to this plate. The power supply would go uh, actually to the motors. So it's 24 volts. The power for the Arduino is coming off the USB. The USB gets uh, wired to the different drivers. Uh, depending on the servo, I'm sorry, the steppers you pick, it's all going to change in how you wire it, but it should be pretty straightforward. And then this is a relay switch here. That relay will drive the uh, solenoid up and down and drop the pin. On this end, you have the bend assembly. So this is another part you'll find in our uh, downloadable files. This is a 3D printed part. It's bolted to the motor. And then uh, the spur gear is the steel spur gear that goes on there. And then these are the two shaft collars that we specified, and that goes on, and we just pull that down. Then you have the solenoid, and the solenoid clip here, and this is a brass bushing that we just push in there just to make it nice and smooth. The solenoid just clips in here. It comes with a pin. Oops. That's not it. it comes with a pin. Pin's too short, so we made a little extension pin that has just a little cross like that, and you put the pin in there. I put a bearing on it because it uh, might slip a little better, and it's not necessary. Then this is a uh, one of the gears uh, in the list, and we just cut 90 degrees out of it, so it can go right in like that. And you just screw it in. And that goes right there. This is a nozzle, it's a 3D printed part. You put it in, it's got a little set screw to hold it in place, and this guy comes together. And there's a shoulder bolt like that, goes in here to hold it all in one place. Once you got that all nice and tight, which I don't know, you could put that little plate there. And that plate is just there to make it uh, give you the angle that you bend it at. So that's it. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. You can find all the parts that are printed or any of the parts that we bought in either our build materials or uh, the downloadable files. So, good luck. Have some fun.